Good morning. And I would like to greet you as may the God's mercy, peace, and blessing be upon you, which is Salaam Alaikum. You know, I'm Hani Mustafa. I'm an automotive journalist, a 43 year old, and I've been in the industry for the last 21 years, which means half of my life I've been an auto journalist. And next year with Exata. So today I would like to focus on a word which has actually uh, blown me away many times, which is the word change. The change has various descriptions. I would like to pick one of them, which is evolve. And you know, the world has evolved to what it is now. We, human being, from nomadic homo sapien to this social media geek, we are also evolved. Automobile, from peace wheel, spoke wheel, to cylinder car, to what it is now, the autonomous future electric cars, it's also evolved. Same as auto journalism, from black and white print to short format reels, the auto journalism also has evolved. So talking about this, it's the first car was rolled out in 1886, which is 138 years before. And I had to mention you, maybe you may not be aware about this, the auto journalism is almost the same age. Like the first magazine is said to be out in 1895, which is like almost 130 years. And the first brand who started the automobile, which is now called Mercedes-Benz, then it was Benz Patent Car, still is ruling the world of automobile, being the leader in the segment. Same as the magazine world, Autogar is arguably the first automotive magazine, and we know they still rule the industry. How it is happening? Is it coincidence? No. It's only because they followed one word, which is evolve, evolve according to the time. We know cars have evolved. As I mentioned, the first patent car was just a single cylinder, three wheeled car. Now we can see the futuristic cars which can even drive itself with level 12, 4 level of autonomy. It has happened only because it has evolved over the time. You now, Carl Benz patent car, he got the patent, he invented the car, but he was scared to take it out because the entire community were against him. Why? It was called as Witch Mobile. It was making a lot of smoke, it was making sound. Those days it was only Oscar. And this car seems to be something from out of the world and we call as Witch Mobile or Witch Wagon. So Bertha when seeing her husband's depression, she took the car out, drove it from Manham to Fanham, which is around 100 kilometers with two of its poor kids, to show what the world, to show the world what her husband has created, which was said to be the first marketing in automotive industry. And she also got actually the first driver's license, which is called driver's permit to brand And on that journey, there was lots so much big insurance where like, you know, the first fuel station was there because he has bought in some chemicals to fuel the vehicle. And even the brake was invented in that day. Bertha Benz was a marketeer for Carl Benz. That is one stage of evolution. The automotive industry we have seen with Henry Ford, mass production has come. Then later, we have seen how diesel has been invented. Then afterwards, hybrid came. Now we know about the electric, but electric is not evolved with Tesla for information. It's been like Porsche has invented the electric way before the 19 mark one. But over the time, we have seen this evolution and the, well, being the first brand, Mercedes or Daimler Benz never been like reluctant to take or accept what the world has come out. You know, they invented various things, over 80% of the patents are owned by Mercedes, but the rest 20, they're adopted from what has been in the market. Likewise, Otaka from a print magazine, which is in the black and white, now they are in the digital format or wherever, like, you know, it is present. And we can see that media also is evolved from print to color print, from magazine to weekly, and from there to electronic media in form of TV shows, and later, internet came in. Internet also we can split into two words, internet and social media. And why they have been still the leader is because over the time they evolved 
to what they do as school. Same wise, I started in 2003 as a freelancer and I'm blessed that I was in the three, three phases, three generation of media because it started off with print by writing, then I was an electronic with the TV show and later, as you all are aware, mostly will be aware of the youngsters, know me through the internet form like as my YouTube videos or maybe the reels or social media. So this has been the evolution. So this evolution is common everywhere. We are seeing that in any field. We are in the IT park. You know, IT park is because of this big revolution. We're taking ahead, we'll be maybe in the space of Mars. We don't know where we're going. And the automobile will also be like that. And the media will also be like that. So this evolution or the change is what is essential for anyone to succeed. So with my example, which is the best I can quote because the first hand information, because you know, I've been graduated as a business student then was graduated in management. I was with my family business. My dad is here, always my hero. And that time I was into business when I was studying in 2002, when I left to Bangalore for my studies, that's when my Angbi, that's elder brother, wrote me a letter. With letter in the sense like proper letter, not me. With a paper cutting from Times where it's covered a story of a person called Vijay Kumar, who supposedly the first Malayali auto journalist who was in Bombay then, who was established a BS Motoring magazine. And he mentioned, why can't you think of doing something like this? Because you're passionate about car. And that's the moment I was also a bit desperate where I can't do anything of my passion. I was trying to do a part-time job in some sales, um, maybe in the showroom or something. But that time I realized, okay, this is something which I can do because I don't want to stick on to one brand. I can experience a vehicle. And th I think I was good in diagnosing the vehicle, which is essential to be a reviewer. And that reviewer is the auto journalist. So I started writing from the 2002. I wrote first, he corrected me because I was not great in my language, still not, I believe. But I wrote the content was my strength and wrote an uh, article on then the latest luxury car, Maybach. And it got published in 2003 in Vartamana Daily. Later, I was writing my blog. I was continuing writing for Vartamana, but I was writing my blog. I was part of Team PHP Forum, various other things on my free time, along with my uh, family business. Then Fast Track Manorama got me an opportunity to be their columnist and uh, freelancing for them. And then only I started my USB. My, I, I realized I have some USB um, compared to the other journalists over there because I was interested or keenly interested in heavy vehicles, which style I do. And I think that is one of my best um, strength among most of the other journalists who are in India, which I'll mention later. So that helped me out to start off something uh, in fast track, which has established me well because even cover story started coming with my art. Then over the time I had to leave. I was a bit more busy with my business. At the time my family friend Prashant came out with the proposal to start a TV show in Asianet Plus. Then Asianet was taken over by Star, but the takeover was happening. So we created something I, I was initially hesitated to do because I was not a person who was camera friendly then. Now I know I possess a lot, but then I was not. And I done this show as a trial. Again, engagement was from my dad only. He encouraged me, try it. So we done eight episodes. The first take was <laughs> flop because you know, 24 retake, the episode is still not out. That was an utter flop for me. But that night I was motivated well by Prashant that next day I started a new for your beginning with another episode which came out. But still the show was not out. It was 2009, but 2010, when I got a call from Surya TV, because the program head then, Prakash Menon from Asian at Plaza moved to Surya TV, he said, nothing going to happen very soon there because the takeover process is going on. So why not you do this? Because we want more young content in Surya TV. That's the time you might know Vijay Babu, right? Vijay Babu, the now, now actor. He was the program head then in Surya TV. So he said like, we need more young program and we like this sort of show concept and started airing the show in 2010, March. So it is the 
14th year of flywheel. The flywheel, as a name, as you know, it's a it's a component. It's not like flying wheel. Flywheel is a component which give momentum for an engine. So I want to give momentum for my passion. So I selected that name. And from there, it was a big turning point for me. Started my show on my 50th episode celebration is actually when I was able to communicate proper to the world what my deep-rooted passion was. When my dad, mom, who have been always my good friends, they also realized, because I was failed to even realize, make them realize that I wanted to be in automotive industry before I joined my commerce in graduation. Then that speech, on the 50th celebration speech, made my dad give me a statement, you want to do something on your passion, just leave the business, focus on that. Which was initially I felt, okay, if he's calling me out, this is telling me get out from this business. Then next morning I realized, okay, he wanted me to develop that in a strong way. And that was the biggest turning point and the most challenging thing I had to take. So by then I was married with two kids and my only revenue was the salary he was giving. That was bad. So I started spending from whatever my earnings were. But I didn't give up. For initial three, four years, I was with zero revenue. But there's no scope for me to get a revenue because I was giving my TV show and show on a TV and the revenue goes to the TV. What I get from my good friends, support like uh, ad from my friends like Umayyad and all was just production cost. Then that challenge helped me out to, you know, work out on various other things. And at that moment, my present partner, Nandu, Arvind, um, we call him Nandu. Nandu is the Liban. All came with some ideas and we collaborated with first valuation for my brand. First success step. And I was able to repay my debt to my dad. That time he also mentioned to his secretary, he has shown his success. From there, it is a different ball game because we started various other things like various verticals like events, production. Now we create uh, commercial ads for brands like Maruti. Last year's Onum ad was created by us. Apart from that, along with that, I have been like challenging myself with various, various, various tasks. And once I got popularized in Malayalam, my greedy was to popularize in South India. So for that, one medium was to leave English because I can't speak Tamil, Telugu or Kannada. So I decided to do a show in uh, English. But my friends and partners, they said, don't do that mistake. As what the problem? We've done a pilot episode, they said, your English is too bad. Okay, what to do to improve? So first of all, you have to get rid of your MTI, which is mother tongue input. I didn't know what it was then, but I realized like Tamilian can speak English in Tamil way. Like Malayalis can speak in, in Malayali way. So I had to break that. For that, I self-made myself as a German Klaxon. Whenever I'm driving alone, I was just talking to my mirror as a German Klaxon. Started improving on that. We'd made an episode. We given to Star Plus. They decided to air it in Surya TV, sorry, Turna, Vijay TV, Asianet, and Hotstar. The biggest turning point for me as a recognizing, as a national media guy. And I has been honored with India Core of the Year jury member. It was amazing. It was great. First time in Malayali getting into that. Not actually in Malayali, but Malayali auto journalists getting into that. Because the worst Malayalis were writing in English. Okay, let us wake. But my aim as an auto journalist, over 50, 40s, I would like to be in the forum called World Car of the Year, which is doubly quoted, because it's the ultimate among this. In my 38th year, I got a call from my good friend Siddharth Patanga and Jernaka. They said, it's an opportunity. Give me your profile. But I was in zero hope. Given that, you know KPMG, they assessed it. They realized my read, my strength in this region. They earned me the honor of juror for WQD and the first South Indian to be in that platform. It is actually a golden feather to my crown. Why I said this is that from a small dream or small passion, I would be able to achieve something which is on a global level only because of two things. One is to accept the evolution around me. 
I'm in my 40s, but I'm competing with guys in 20s. So I need to know what is my weakness and what is my strength according to the work. I've done that. And second was deep rooted passion. We all will have passion, but we fail when we have challenge. Then you don't have a deep rooted passion. So if you have a deep rooted passion, you stick on to that. Any stone can't actually take you away. So that was the challenge which I taken. By God's grace, with all my viewer support and all my support from my friends and family, I'm here standing on your behalf. You know, you like, you know, in this great platform, Ted with Kosat. I'm thankful to all of you who are getting me this chat. And hopefully, I'll be trying to get into major other platforms wherever I can because I still have the fire in me. Thank you so much for listening to me. And thank you, TEDx Kuda, for this opportunity. Thank you.